Hello everyone, my topic is satellite. Satellite, satellite is an uh, artificial satellite that relays and amplifies radio per telecommunication signal via transport, which creates communication channel between source transmitter and receiver at different locations on Earth. Communication satellites are used for television, telephone, radio, internet, and military applications. Wireless communication enables transmission information over a distance without help of wire, cable, or any other form of electrical transmission. Satellite is nothing but it is a communication between two different locations without any wiring. So, this is how satellite. Uh, next is the features of satellite. The transmission distance can be anywhere between a few meters, example, television, remote control, and thousands of kilometers per hour. Distance may be anything from one kilometer to uh, thousand kilometers. It communication with two devices without any time. Other is a wireless communication can be used for cellular telephone, wireless access, wireless access to the internet, wireless home networking, and so on. And the other example of application radio wireless technology include GPS, garage, dude, operates, wireless computer, my keyboards, and handset, headphone, radio resource, etc. Television work for television and the cell phone. These are all our features of satellite communication. Uh, next is the uh, advantage of satellites. Uh, there are many advantages of satellites. Uh, uh, some some advantages of yeah. uh, First of is cost effectiveness. Uh, wired communication entails the use of concern wires in wired network communication. There is no need for physical infrastructure or maintain practice uh, in the post it video. Yes, and wireless communication will. You don't need to any wire digital infrastructure to communicate the one device to other device. And next is flexibility. Wireless communication enables the people to communicate regardless of their location. Another is convenience. Wireless communication devices like mobile phone are quite simple and therefore follow allow anyone to use them. Whenever they may be there is no need to physical connect anything on order to receive pass a pass message and uh, accessibility. The wireless technology helps easy accessibility in the remote areas where ground lines could not be properly led or be easily connected to the network. And constant connectivity is speed. Uh, now is the application of satellite. So the various applications of satellite application where we use satellite of weather forecasting, navigation, astronomy, satellite phone, satellite television, military, satellite, satellite internet, satellite radio, etc. These all are applications of satellite. Uh, other applications may be, but this is main application to the satellite. And now, oh, history of satellite. What was the idea behind the satellite? The the idea of communicating through satellite first appeared in the short story titled The Big Moon, written by the American Larry James and author Robert Ebert Hall. The story describes the construction and launch into Earth orbit of satellite 20 feet in diameter and made of bricks. The brick moon added very much in navigation as the people share. Mode scored signal back to Earth by jumping up and down in the satellite surface. The, the first practical concept of satellite communication was proposed by a Royal Air Force officer Arthur C. Clark in the Departing Extra Traditional Realms, Kendrick Rocket Station, the worldwide radio coverage, published in October 1920. To become an accomplished science fiction writer, proposed that the satellite and altitude 35,786 km above Earth's surface would be moving at the 
same is still the earth rotation. Then the first satellite is that the uh, first satellite is that the Sputnik 1 was launched successfully by the Soviet Union in October 4, 1957. Sputnik 1 was only 58 centimeters in diameter with four, four antenna sending low frequency radio signal for or reg at regular intervals. It orbit Earth in a elliptical orbit taking 96.2 meters to complete one resolution. It transmits signal from for only 22 days until its battery ran out and was in orbit for only three months. But its launch is part of the beginning of the space race between the United States and the Soviet Soviet Union. Now, type of the satellite. <laughs> Uh, low Earth, Earth orbit. Scientific satellites tend to be quite close to Earth, often just a few hundred kilometers up and follow almost circular path, called a low Earth orbit satellite. Since they have to be moving very far to overcome Earth gravity and they have a relatively small orbit because they, they are so close, they cover large areas of the planet quite quickly and never stay over one part of Earth for more than few minutes. Some follow what call a polar orbit, passing over both in north and south poles in the loop, taking just hour and hour and half to complete. And now second is the medium earth orbit. The higher up of the satellite is the large longer it spends our many one part of Earth is just the same shape planes flying over our head. The slower they move to the sky and the higher up are. are. <laughs> the medium earth orbit is about 10 times higher than the low earth orbit. Which is the extension of the sun is medium earth orbit, strongly 20,000 kilometers above our head, head and take very far too low. The, the orbits are semi synchronous, which means they are. Uh, while they are not always exactly in the same place. Above our uh, heads, they pass above the same point in the equator at the same time each day. Now, third is the medium earth orbit. Many satellites have orbited carefully to the distance of about 36,000 from the surface. The magic position ensures that they take exactly one day to orbit. Earth and the always return with the same position. In the earth, from the earth, 36,000 kilometers is the uh, place where the uh, satellites are stay and uh, satellite is traveling with the earth. Uh, after one day, it completes the rotation at the same place, it comes with the same place. So, they, this is called the geostationary satellite. Satellite and the same time. A high high earth orbit like this is called geosynchronization or geostationary. If the satellite stay over the same point on earth all the time, communication satellite over space mirrors are usually there part in geostationary orbit. So their signal always is the satellite which is continuous then. Whether satellites often use geostationary orbit because they need to keep with a cloud or then fall image from the same broad part of the earth from our to our and day to day life. like low earth or the scientific satellite which gather data from many different places over a relatively short period of time due to scale the satellites gather their data from the smaller area over a longer period of time uh, these all are about the type of satellites so, Thank you so much. Thank you.